I want to treat symptoms and help the brain work better so patients can get back to behaving as they would want to be. I'm partly a doctor in, in a clinic with patients, but I'm also lucky enough to lead a big research group into dementia. You might typically think of a dementia as being in very old people and with memory loss through and through. And that is true for Alzheimer's disease. But frontotemporal dementia it is different. This is exactly what we'd expect to see in this particular illness. At a large scale, the brain looking in pretty good shape, but on the back here, you can see it's thinned down. It's not the whole brain that's affected. When the frontal lobe is damaged, it changes personality and behavior. And when the temporal lobe is damaged, it changes understanding and words and language. There are many thousands of people with frontal temporal dementia. It's the, the commonest of the young onset dementias. And for most people, it occurs out of the blue. The aim is to park the car into the box just by moving the joystick. I'd love to restore the delicate balance of chemistry in the brain. And if you get it right, you can make a huge difference to the quality of life with dementia. And you parking the car went all right? It's frustrating because you're getting with the box. Yeah, I'm trying to be frustrated. I can yeah. see you trying to correct yourself and get it back yeah. in the box. Yeah, that was brilliant. We can see on the brain scan how the medication you're on is helping the, the, the brain cells connect up and the brain to talk to itself better. Without the medication, day by day it was getting worse and worse and worse. And now she's taking the medication, you know, she's got some kind of quality of life yeah. back. It's great that innovative firms like RICO are turning their attention to Alzheimer's disease and frontotemporal dementia. And the support they're giving to Alzheimer's Research UK is really crucial for helping with their research. I think there's a cure in sight, but like getting to the moon, to get there is going to take a massive and sustained effort from a very big international team of researchers and investment. But it is in sight.